Assalamualaikum Janab Speaker, I am in front of you and in front of you. I would like to give two policy statements. One is my foreign minister's position and then after that, Pakistan People's Party's chairman's position. As I started, I would like to give my first policy statement. It is about the... सिर्फ चार्ज संभालते हुए जो सबसे पहले इश्यू है जिसका हमें मुकाबला करना पड़ा इंडियन इलीगली ऑक्यूपाइड कश्मीर के हवाले से मैं आपको वो सुनाता हूँ Mr. Speaker, I rise today to bring to the notice of this August House yet another concerning development in the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The honourable members would recall that on 5th August 2019, India announced a series of illegal and unilateral measures in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. These steps were aimed at changing the internationally recognised distributed status of Jammu and Kashmir and altering the demographic structure of the occupied territory. These illegal and unilateral Indian measures were completely rejected by the people of Kashmir on both sides of the LOC. India has since been rel relentlessly pursuing its sinister design of demographic change, including through measures such as issuance of millions of domicile certificates to non-Kashmiris and allowing non-Kashmiris to buy property in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. In the same context, the so-called commission established by the Indian occupiers in March 2020 to delimit constituencies in IIOJK has rendered a report that has confirmed the worst fears of the people of occupied Jammu and Kashmir. This report is, is a further manifestation of the Indian government's repugnant plan to disempower and disenfranchise the Kashmiris and turn them into a minority in their own land blatantly disregarding the universally accepted criteria of taking population as the fundamental basis for delimination and defying all democratic norms, the Indian government has attempted outrageous gerrymandering. Consequently, the electoral balance has been artificially tilted in favor of Jammu, a non-Muslim majority area, having 43.7% of the total population according to the census of 2011. As opposed to Kashmir, with a majority Muslim population and having around 56% of the total population of the occupied territory. This attests to India's ulterior motive vis-a-vis -vis IIOJK. In a glaringly injudicious distribution, despite Kashmir making up the bigger portion of the overall, overall Indian, Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir population, only one seat has been proposed for it by the Commission under the illegal Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act of 2019, as opposed to six additional seats for Jammu. The redrawn electoral boundaries are blatantly skewed in favor of the non-Muslim, non-Muslim dominated constituencies in the IOJK and have already been rejected by the cross-section of political parties of the occupied territories. Mr. Speaker, these measures are a blatant attempt to help the BJP electoral and political objectives in IIOJK and to make permanent the illegal and unilateral measures of August 5th, 2019. We believe that the whole exercise is illegal and, in contra and controversial of the relevant UN Secretary Council resolution, international law, and the fourth Geneva Convention, which imposes certain obligation on occupying forces, including not to change the democratic structure of occupied territories. The government of Pakistan has categorically rejected the report of the Determination Commission and termed it a farcical exercise. A strong demarche was made to the Indian Charged Affairs who was summoned to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I have...
designed to further marginalize and divide the Kashmiri people and pave way for yet another puppet government that panders to Hindutva ideology. Going forward, we will continue to reach out to the world community to raise international awareness about India's illegal action and mobilize the requisite response. Our special focus is on the United Nations, the OIC, and key multilateral forums. I call upon this August House to reinforce our efforts by adopting a draft legal occupation in IIOJK through the Delimination Commission and artificially alter the electoral balance in favor of, the hit of a Hindu minority. I also take this opportunity to reaffirm the most in the most unequivocal terms the commitment of the government and people of Pakistan to extend all possible support to the Kashmiri people till they achieve their legitimate right to self-determination enshrined in the UN Security Council resolutions. The resolution as signed is as follows, Mr. Speaker. The National Assembly of Pakistan recalling the resolution of 6th August 2019, adopted unanimously by Parliament of Pakistan and nice subsequent resolutions of Indian, Indian in illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, deeply alarmed at the situation in IIOJK arising out of the continued Indian occupation in violation of international law and UN Security Council resolutions, expressing grave concern over the series of illegal measures that the Indian occupation forces have been taking to change the demographic composition of the occupied territories in stark violation of international law, particularly the Fourth Geneva Convention and the relevant resolutions of the UN Security Council, denouncing the latest attempt at demographic engineering in IIOJK through a, through a so-called delimination commission constituted in March 2020 in the occupied territory aimed at artificially altering the electoral strength of the Muslim majority. Noting that the, commission rec the Commission's recommendations have been rejected by a cross-section of political parties in IIOJK, reaffirming Pakistan's complete support and solidarity with the Kashmiri people, rejects categorically the report that the so-called Delimination Commission that seeks to convert the Muslim majority of IIOJK into a minority and further marginalize, disenfranchise, disempower the Kashmiri population of IIOJK and advance the political and electoral objectives of the BJP expresses grave, conf grave concern that, the, that through the delimination exercise, India is making an attempt to further its illegal actions of 5th August 2019 and subsequent measures, all of which have been categorically rejected by the people of Kashmir and the people of Pakistan. We recall and reaffirms that Jammu and Kashmir is an internationally recognized dispute and a long-standing item on the agenda of the UN Security Council, declares that no facade elections based on a sham delimination exercise can subs substitute the legitimacy and indispensability of a free and impartial plebiscite held under the auspices of the United Nations to enable the Kashmiri people to exercise their right to self-determination in accordance with the relevant UNSC resolution. We demand that, the Indian, that India honors and fulfills its obligations under international law, UNSC resolutions, and the Fourth Geneva Convention to reaffirm, for, to, to refrain from bringing about any illegal demographic changes in the occupied territory urges the Indian government to forthwith end its oppression and widespread violation of human rights and international humanitarian law in IIOJK and enable the Kashmiri people to exercise their inalienable right to self-determination as enshrined in the relevant UNSC resolutions calls upon the international community to ensure accountability of India's grave and persistent violations of human rights and war crimes in IIOJK and to urge India
the occupying power to immediately halt and reverse any unilateral and all illegal actions in IIOJK and to fulfill its obligations under the relevant UN SC resolution reiterates the unflinching commitment and solidarity of Pakistan and the Pakistani people with our Kashmiri brothers and sisters and reaffirms that Pakistan will continue to extend all possible support in their, in their just struggle for freedom and self-determination and requests the government to continue to expose and counter the Indian moves before the international community to highlight and forcefully project the Kashmir cause at all bilateral, multilateral fora, including the United Nations and the OIC. I request for this resolution to be.